put out the lights Turn down the heat Get to where we're going On our own two feet We got to get this If there's too much water in here, they'll never have heat upstairs. If you have a radiator in your house, you hear this? You ever hear a pipe banging from a radiator? That means there's too much water in the system. 102, start me. 102, 0, 0, 0. Mm-hmm. Look at you. I wanted to take a draft from these equipment because you need to know that the combustion gas that's burnt is going out to the chimney. And to test the chimney, to make sure it's doing that, you drill a hole from here and take a draft test. This is a smoke button. Hmm? To test. Yeah. The windows, the doors, the ceiling height, and what we do that for is when we calculate square footage of the house, all of these items come out of the square footage of the house. So that's very important. That cuts the air, period. There's no air movement. So what we do is we go in the outer cavity. Mm -hmm. The guys that go inside, they seal around the perimeter mm -hmm. of the house and the pipe chases and all the bypasses around the chimney, all of that. That stops all the air movement from in the walls. Okay. That's what you want to stop. No insulation. I think you should get it. 74. 74. So if the house is 74 and it's set for 74, should the boiler be on? Should be on. Exhaust fan. Normally we can say this bathroom is going to be an exhaust fan. So we implement that into our work scope. Then that, in accordance with the amount of people in the house, is important. So part of our order is to ask, how many people live here? You know, sometimes they can say six, five, four, three. Yes, they be to the house with 11 kids. So we made recommendations for them to have their bathrooms exhausted outside the house. Because you have 10 or more people in the house that's using showers, there's a lot of moisture. And this is going to tell us in the beginning how leaky the house is. This test is also done in the beginning, in the middle, and after everything is done to determine how much effectiveness our air sealing did on the house. Extremely, extremely cold. So that's something we're going to have to address. You actually have to crawl in there and properly insulate it the right way. This roof here is different than the one upstairs, correct? It's only on the first level. You have to go in there too and insulate in there as well. All of these measures make the house much warmer, reduce the energy in the building, save the tenant money, and hopefully address. is make, to make the building more efficient in the use of energy right and to make it friendly to the environment so that we can help the earth <laughs> <laughs> i like that i like that um, and it's totally fresh to me because i saw that, that kind of stuff uh, for the first time uh -huh. and then um, I think it's fun but I uh, because we assist in uh, fixing the borders and the heaters and then uh, we learn something that we don't we didn't know before but it's uh, closely related to our daily life and then they took care of us and then they really I, I feel I feel that they really want us to uh, they want to make us feel interested in it, so they try to explain everything in a in an exciting so, way, uh -huh. so that to um, to help us understand that and uh, feel more interested in it. Teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, because everybody in CEC, they don't, they, I mean. 
they don't work alone. Uh -huh. Every time they go out, uh, it's uh, maybe two or three people together. So even though maybe one, if you change only one household, it doesn't make sense at all. But if you make changes day by day, and then and then when they come together, it will make a huge a difference. We got to put out the lights. Turn down the heat. Get to where we're going.